how to make a monkey in a tree. First of all, we will start with the tree. I, used, I like to use a nice uh, light green balloon for this. And the tree is very simple. You can make a more complicated tree, but this one's fine, I think. A little one inch bubble here, and twist here, and fold it over, and twist these two together. Are you going to repeat that two more times? Oh, I forgot to tell you how far I blew it up. Almost all the way. I left about that much air. Um, okay, then pinch it off here. I guess that's what, you know, you can judge three inches, uh, four inches. You can make yours as you would like. This is how I like mine. And twist, and then one last time. Twist here. It's getting a little tight, but it's going to be okay. And twist together here. There. That is then you just arrange it. That is the tree that I use. You can put a little crook in it if you'd like. That's up to you. Next, we do the monkey. Now there's two ways to do a monkey. Well, there's probably a lot of ways to do a monkey, but two ways that I do a monkey. Um, one is a quicker way, and if you're pressed for time, then this is the way to do it. You blow the monkey all the way up except for about, what's that? I'm not very good at judging inches. Ah, oh, that's a two and a half inches, exactly, or something like that. Anyway, you leave about that much. Okay, tie it off, burp it. Uh, one inch bubble. Now we're gonna make two smaller twists. One, grab it, pinch twist here. Then the head, that was the ear. Then the head, a little bit bigger, and then another, a little bit smaller than a one inch. It's up to you how big you make these. Some people like them bigger, some people like them smaller. They look more like ears when they're smaller, and they still look big. Uh, but anyway, I'm making them a little bigger just for demonstration sake, mainly. Okay, so there's the monkey's ears, there's, there's the two monkey's ears, there's the monkey's head, and there's the monkey's nose or mouth. Then we're gonna take this part and we're gonna twist these together. We're gonna pull all that. See, it's kind of hard to explain, but this part right here will twist into this part right here. You just grab it. It's not that hard to explain. I just explained it. I think I did a pretty good job. And we're gonna pull that head up so that you are twisting at the base and twist it a couple of times and turn it around. Now, there's the monkey's head. Now that is the most uh, difficult part of the whole monkey. The rest is very quick and we still have plenty of air uh, space, you know, to uh, finish our twist. Next, what I do is I take my tree, well, I have it like this under my arm when I'm twisting, I twist a one inch bubble for the neck then, at that point, I put the tree here, I twist the monkey's arms around like that, and I'm going to be twisting these two together right here. You got that? Okay. And you just twist. Now the monkey is on the tree, and all that is left is, is the, the bottom part of him. So I make, I, as, as you know, if you know me, you know that I like to make small animal bottles, b bodies. Um, so it's a one inch bubble. Then we twist this around here and we're gonna twist this together. Oh no, no, sorry, I made a mistake. Does that encourage you? Okay, what we're gonna do, is, we're not gonna twist this together, we're gonna twist this. Like that. That's, this is very important. We twist this. Then we hold this like this, and I'm going to now shove the tail underneath. I want you to see it. under Because that's why I'm doing this, so you can see it. I'm going to shove the tail. I'm going to hold this twist to the base of the body twist. And I'm going to shove the tail through. Now, this is very easy. I can do this in a second. It looks like it's difficult just because I'm trying to explain it to you, but I do it very, very quickly. Oh, it kind of came apart, but that's okay. Just make sure that that's touching. Those two together are touching, and then you pull this through like 
like this. And there you have the monkey on the tree. And I usually bend the tail like that so that he, you know, has got some character. So that's the monkey. I'll show you the face I do for this monkey. Very simple. Now, other people might do cuter faces or whatever, but the thing about my faces is they're very quick. And when you have a lot of kids waiting for a balloon, you have to, you know, judge what's more important to make a, like a completely perfect monkey here or to satisfy the need of the line and get things moving. So I have tried to develop things that are quick, yet cute. They're still cute and they love them, uh, but they don't take forever to do. So rather than doing the big eyes and the eye, I just do two, usually just two small circles like that, like that, and then a big mouth like that. And my signature is the tongue hanging out like that, and that's it. You can also draw dots here if you want, but that's just extra time. And you have to have the trade-off, what's more important, you know, doing a little bit more art here or satisfying the need of, of your crowd. Okay, so that's one monkey, and that is a little quicker than the other monkey. The other, uh, I'll show you the other monkey now. I'll take this guy off the tree, because, uh, and I'll show you how fast I can actually do it uh, after I finish the face part. I'll show you the body part because when I was doing that body I was really slow and you might think oh this takes forever but it's not. Once you get it down it's very quick. Okay, you blow up the monkey about the same, about that much remaining. You burp it. Now with this one there's a there's a little bit more possibility it would pop so I squeeze a little air out just to, I, I loosen it up a little bit. You know. Okay. When I did the other monkey, I did a smaller, like a one-inch bubble. I'm going to do a little bit bigger, like um, just a little bit bigger. It's not much bigger than a one-inch bubble, but it is bigger. Then you're going to take those two and twist them together like that. Okay, that's the monkey's nose. Next, I'm going to, if I let go of this, it might unravel, so I'll, I'll keep holding on to that. I'll make a small ear, and I'll twist the ear now. I'll make a head. And then I'll make another small ear and I'll twist the ear. Then we'll bring the whole thing together like we did with the others. This is going to twist this is going to twist into here. So I pull the head up sort of so that I can access that base. And you twist it together. There. This doesn't take much longer, but it does take a little bit longer. Okay, so there's this monkey's head. It's a little different. Now I'll show you how quickly you can actually get the monkey on the tree. The rest is the same. Uh, here's the neck. Okay, here's the tree. And this is the speed with which you can do it. See, it doesn't really take that long once you get it down, but I was having to explain it to you, which is why it took so long. So, Okay, so there's the monkey in the tree, but the face on this guy is going to be a little different. I think this monkey is cuter, but he does take a little bit longer, and, and there's more possibility that he will pop, so I know if I'm in a rush, I do the other monkey. Okay, eyes are the same, two small eyes, but now here's where you differ. Two big nostrils here, and then a big wide kind of like a curious George monkey like that. And a couple of eyebrows. Okay, so that's my, my cuter monkey, I believe. And also, you can always add bananas. The way you add bananas is very simple. It's not vital how far you blow it up, but anyway, it just depends on how big you want your bananas to be. Uh, okay, I'll let some of the air out. Okay, then you tie it, you make it a little loose. Um, then you tie it up here, tie it together. Then I find the middle and I twist it like that. And then I twist the middle of that again. Hold it over. I take the end and I loop it through maybe a couple of times. And there you have your bananas and you can stick it in the tree just by pulling it through like that. And it's a very cute monkey in the tree with bananas. Thank you very much. And please don't forget to subscribe.